Good afternoon folks and happy new year 2024. We're doing a review here of the Quickie QM710 with spider track suspension. This chair has electric tilt, electric recline and electric feet. Good afternoon folks, this is Mark with Mark's Mobility. I'm doing a video today on a Quickie QM710 power chair with, active, with uh, spider track suspension. This power chair here only has 29 miles. 35. 35 miles, sorry about that. It has 35 miles, so it was used a couple months at the most. It's literally brand new. It has electric tilt, electric recline, and the electric feet. Three electrical function. This chair is built like a tank, which you'll see in a minute, and I'll go over the chair as we go along. All the function on this chair have to be done through the joystick. So you would go to your joystick, and on the left side is where you turn the power on. You would keep going forward until you see, actually this one is backward. So you turn the chair on, and then the, this button here, because it's a quickie chair, you have to go down. So you go down until you see a picture of your seat. Right now I see a picture of the seat and the only thing yellow at the bottom two legs. That means, that, that means if I move this joystick, you see the legs are moving? I don't want that right away, so I'm going to move the joystick to tilt. Tilt will be the bottom yellow and the back yellow. And then I will go back and you'll see the tilt. So this is called tilt. When the bottom goes back, it's going to take the back and the leg because they're all connected together. This has a lot of medical benefit if you need to relieve pressure of your bottom pressure off your back or you just want to sit and relax or let me go back to the feet I'm going to move this sideways to get the legs yellow the feet now I'm going to put the feet up so if you needed some circulation I just want to show you how high these feet will go and remember if you're five feet tall six foot two we can adjust the length of these foot pedals all the way up to here or down to here okay so folks, you definitely would have good circulation there. And you see how they go up a little bit too? See that? So that's that. But now, if you were only, let me go back to tilt. I'm going to bring the tilt down halfway just to show you. Even if you're halfway tilted, let's just say you were tilted to here. Your feet would still be higher than your body. Okay? So, so far we've done the tilt. We've done the feet. Now we're going to do the back. The back is called a recline. So I'm going to move this side away until the back gets yellow. There we go. So now if I push this back, you see the seat going back? Nothing's moving in the chair but the recline. I'm going to raise the arm up so you can see it. And I'm going to go as far as it goes. Okay. That was just a plastic box right here hitting the thing right there. We'll take care of that. So this is called the recline. Okay, so if you're laying in your chair, that's what it would look like. We're going to bring the, the seat back up. And we're going to bring the legs. Yeah, I could do both at the same time. Oh. So I'm going to bring both of them at the same time. So I'm doing the legs and the back coming back up. And we're about right for the back and I'm going to go down a little bit more with the legs. Actually, I'm going to bring the legs all the way in to show you how well that chair turns in a circle. And I'm going to do one more thing. So you can see how far the legs go in. I'm going to put it back in. Uh, I turned it off again. So this one is backward. This is why... I'm going to turn it on again. You got to go back to put it back in drive. I'm going to go down. This will be speed one, speed two, speed three. I want to show you how well this chair turns. So this is the turning radius of this chair. Look at this, folks. It turns on its own length. So if you're in the house, you're going to want to have the legs all the way in because you don't want to be too far out in the house. And that's the turning radius of this chair. Let's look at the base. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to Go ahead and get the legs out a little bit because if you go outside you want those legs out a little bit like that and we're going to put it back in drive three and we're going to look at the base now 
This chair has got, they, the, this company calls their suspension active track suspension. What that means is if you get an obstacle in front of your wheel, this will raise up fairly easily. I'm not sure if I can do it. You can see the suspension. Okay. So this is called the active, the uh, spider suspension. And if we look at the base of the chair, you see there's an anchor point here. This is where you would secure your chair if you're going to transport it. And there's another one somewhere uh, right here, right behind these cables right here. So you have two here and you have two in the opposite side. You have four of those, okay? These are 14 inch solid tire. They're not going to mark your floor. So this is a mid wheel drive. That means your drive wheels in the middle. That gives you the best turning radius. That's why when you turn, the wheels line up this way and the chair turn in its own length, okay? So this gives you the best turning radius. This is your motor. This motor right here is directly connected to the hub. There's no chain, no belt, no mess directly to the motor. This is a full pole motor. These are super good motors. These are four pole motors are always really good. If I want to push this chair manually, you see it's in gear and it's too heavy. It probably weighs over 400 pounds. But if you turn the power off, okay, and the reason you want the power off, you want no resistance in these electric motors. And right here on your motor is a handle. You see it right here? If I push it down, what that does, it unlocks the wheel. If you do both motors, you can push the chair and you have push bars right here. You can push the chair all around the room. Okay. And the reason earlier we heard that noise, the safety belt was caught inside of here. That's why that noise came earlier. It's from that safety belt. Now, Let's bring this back over here. And when you're done rolling it, put it back in gear so you don't get yourself in trouble. Okay? So, let's put it back. Let's turn it back on. And we're going to look at the seat. Now, this has got what's called a swing away joystick. So you get a little closer to our dining table with the joystick over here. So you gain about six inches. Okay? These chair, these arms are very well. This is built like a tank. So if you watch me push on these arms, there's no give. See that? So if you have a person who pushes off their arm really a lot, well, these arms, because they're built with these solid metal here, they're not going to give on you. Also, the seat in this chair is 20 inches wide by 18 deep. We're not changing the seat in this chair. The only thing we can do, we can make it 20, which it is, but we can go deeper. We can go 20 by 20, okay, or 21 deep. So if you're looking at this chair, this is the seating you're getting. This is a cushion you're getting. It's going to be 20, but right now it's 18, but we can move the back a couple, three inches to give you more depth. You have the safety belt, which you heard earlier. You have flip up arms and these arms can be adjusted. There's a little adjustments here. So if you want to tilt like this, like that, or I don't know why you want it this far, but you can adjust that right there. The foot plates flip up when you exit the chair. Uh, the headrest is fully adjustable and removable, okay? So this headrest is fully adjustable. It can go up and down, and this is a nice, large, comfortable headrest. You have a push bar. When you charge the batteries in this chair, you will take the charger that comes with your chair. This is not the charger, but we'll use this one. You just plug it right below your joystick right there. Right there. And as soon as the light goes from orange to green, the charger will cut off. The charger knows when the batteries are full, the charger will cut off. So folks, this chair is also kind of quick. It definitely has a six mile an hour speed, which I'll tell you when I go outside, if it goes faster. But if you're looking for a nice chair, nope. when you, I plugged in the joystick, so now I have to turn it off, turn it back on. Um, that just resets because I put I push in the joist the, the the charger in here while it was still on. So this chair, folks, is a total width. Uh, in case you need to know, from outside the arm to outside the arm is 26 inches. That's going to be your best number, your best scenario, because we're not changing the seat. So remember, you're going to have 26 inches from outside to outside. That's your magic number. The inside is 20 inches on the inside. The seat height when it's down is 22, which is normal, 22 inches to the front right here. And the width of the chair, I think it's 25, 26 also. So these arms should be pretty much in line with the wheel, which they are. So 
If you're looking for a chair that's very well built, this is a Quickie QM710 with spider track suspension, solid tires, electric tilt, electric recline, electric feet, swing away joystick, flip up arms, safety belt, large headrests, push bars, four pole motors. This is truly a well built power chair. So this is the Quickie P, uh, Quickie QM710. Top speed is five point. The top speed that I saw in this chair as I was driving was five point eight miles an hour. Um, you can drive. You can. You have five speeds, so you can go back to speed one, or you can use the joystick as a gas pedal. If I just move this a little bit. I'm on speed one right now. So I can go as fast as I want with the joystick or reduce the speed through here. You can feel the suspension when you turn on this chair. I can just feel it grabbing the suspension. It should be no problem in the grass with this one. Yeah, it doesn't lose any speed at all. As a matter of fact, it keeps the same speed in the grass as it does on the fast surface. Because of these four pole motors, it gives you more torque in the grass. It's, that's why these four pole motors are really good. Uh, they're, they're heavy duty also, but they also give you more torque. So remember, this chair has electric tilt, electric recline, electric feet. It's 26 inches from outside arm to outside arm. That will be always the same, 26 inches. The seat is 20 by 18, but we can push the back back two or three inches more if you need more depth. But the width is going to stay the same on the seat, 20 inches. And you have the anchor point. You have the solid tires, the spider track traction, just a great, great, well-built power chair, ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.